Elizabeth Bennet lives with her mother, father, and sisters in the English countryside. As the second eldest, she faces mounting pressure from her parents to marry. When the outspoken Elizabeth is introduced to the handsome and upper-class Mr. Darcy, sparks fly. Although there is obvious chemistry between the two, Darcy's overly reserved nature threatens the fledgling relationship. Today, we are going to talk about a 2005 romantic drama film called Pride and Prejudice. During the late 18th century, Mr. and Mrs. Bennett and their daughters, Jane, Elizabeth, Mary, Kitty, and Lydia, live at Longbourn, their estate in rural England. Mrs. Bennett, eager to secure suitable marriages for her daughters, is delighted when wealthy bachelor Charles Bingley moves into nearby Netherfield. At an assembly ball, Bingley, his sister, Caroline, and his friend Mr. Darcy meet the local society. Bingley and Jane are immediately taken with each other, while Elizabeth instantly dislikes the snobbish Darcy and overhears his dismissive remarks about her. Later, visiting the Bingleys, Jane falls ill and must stay to recuperate. While Elizabeth is visiting Jane at Netherfield, she verbally spars with the haughty Caroline and the aloof Darcy. Jane recovers and soon after, Mr. Bennett's cousin, Mr. Collins, a pompous clergyman, visits the Bennets, as the closest male relative, Collins will inherit Longbourn. Mr. Collins intends to propose to Jane, but Mrs. Bennett says she will soon be engaged and she suggests Elizabeth, which Collins considers an agreeable alternative. The Bennett sisters also meet the handsome and charming soldier, Lieutenant Wickham, who is connected to the Darcy family. He wins Elizabeth's sympathy by claiming Mr. Darcy denied him his rightful inheritance. At the Netherfield Ball, Elizabeth dances with Darcy, though the encounter is strained. The next day, Collins proposes to Elizabeth, who soundly rejects him. Despite her mother's anger, her father supports her decision. The Bingley party unexpectedly returns to London. Elizabeth urges Jane to visit their aunt and uncle, the gardeners, who lives in London, hoping she reconnects with Bingley. Elizabeth is astonished when her friend, Charlotte, fearing spinsterhood, announces her engagement to Mr. Collins. Months later, Elizabeth visits Charlotte and Mr. Collins, who resides on Lady Catherine de Borg's estate. She unexpectedly meets Darcy, who is Lady Catherine's nephew and is visiting with his cousin, Colonel Fitzwilliam. Unaware that Jane is Elizabeth's sister, Fitzwilliam mentions that Darcy recently untangled Bingley from an imprudent match with an unsuitable family. Distraught, Elizabeth is then met by Darcy, who surprisingly proposes marriage, declaring his ardent love despite her inferior rank. Offended and angry, she refuses him. He defends separating Jane and Bingley, believing Jane indifferent, and rightly criticizes the other Bennett's occasional social impropriety. Elizabeth also cites his mistreating Wickham. Angry and heartbroken, Darcy later delivers Elizabeth a letter describing Wickham's true character wherein he claimed that Wickham was treated like his own son by Darcy's father, but he squandered the bequest Darcy's father left him, then attempted to seduce Darcy's 15-year-old sister, Georgiana, into eloping to gain her fortune. Elizabeth returns home, as does Jane. Accompanying the gardeners on a trip to the Peak District, Elizabeth reluctantly tours Pemberley, the Grand Darcy estate. She unexpectedly runs into Darcy, who invites her and the gardeners to dine at Pemberley. Darcy's manner has softened considerably, his manners impressing the gardeners, and Georgiana sharing her brother's flattering reports about Elizabeth. An urgent letter from Jane reveals that Lydia has run off with Wickham. Darcy says he had to do something and leaves immediately. Her mother fears Lydia's disgrace will ruin her other daughter's chances for good marriages. After a tense waiting period, Mr. Gardner sends news that Lydia and Wickham are now married, and the newlyweds return to Longbourn. Lydia lets slip to Elizabeth that it was Darcy who found them and paid for their wedding. He was also purchased Wickham's military commission. Bingley and Darcy return to Netherfield and visit the Bennets unexpectedly. Bingley proposes to Jane, who accepts. Late that night, Lady Catherine arrives to see Elizabeth and demands she never become engaged to Darcy. Deeply insulted, Elizabeth orders her to leave. Walking the moor early the next morning, Elizabeth encounters Darcy, who apologizes for his intrusion. He professes his continued love, and Elizabeth, her feelings radically altered, accepts his proposal. 
She tells her father the truth of Darcy's actions, and Mr. Bennett gives Elizabeth his consent to marry, overjoyed she has found love. The movie ends showing Darcy and Elizabeth sharing a kiss as they talk about how Darcy will call Elizabeth. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel. See you again soon. Until then, take care.